we have the first technology for Tesla Giga Berlin. Parts of paint shop are lifted and entered into the shell. With this, Tesla Giga Berlin is entering a totally new phase. And also we're going to talk about hundreds of charging stations and thousands of parking spaces at Tesla Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. While the facades of, uh, uh, of the shell construction on the site of Tesla Giga Berlin in Grünheide near Berlin are still being clad and the foundations for the eight giant gigapressors uh, die casting machines are being prepared and I've talked about this before the installation of technology is apparently already being done in another area and it looks like this is being done simultaneously which is very important for um, uh, uh, completing Giga Berlin's uh, construction in a fast and speedy manner. This was reported and documented by a regular observer of the Tesla project. Cranes had lifted the first components of the painting line for the new factory into the part of the building intended for this purpose, reports our friend Jürgen, who tweets and tweeted uh, Tuesday yesterday, who, who tweets a, a GF for Tesla and published photos. You are seeing those photos on your screen. So we have a modern technology for Tesla Giga Berlin for a German Tesla factory. Tesla first started setting up the area for painting its electric cars in Grünheide. According to information from the recently surprisingly dismissed Giga Builder Ivan Horetsky, the background was that the system would be the most complicated to install. Tesla therefore wanted to start with it as early as possible. A few weeks ago, observers discovered various components for this in a nearby warehouse. They come from the Italian-Japanese manufacturer Geiko Taiki Sha or Geiko Taiki Sha, which according to its homepage is a leading global supplier of finished painting solutions for the automotive industry. According to CEO Tesla CEO Elon Musk, the German Gigafactory is to get a state-of-the-art paint shop that enables breathtaking color effects. That would be a welcome contrast to the Teslas from Fremont factory in California or Teslas from um, Giga Shanghai, who are often said to have um, poor paint quality. I think I'm, I'm talking about Fremont more. Uh, haven't heard any poor paint quality from Giga Shanghai. So just to be clear, uh, Elon Musk has also revealed already his upcoming favorite color and model Y from Giga Berlin. And uh, and shortly after was shown on its own Model S, a deep red called Crimson. And uh, the, the pictures from our friend Jürgen cannot tell which parts of the large and tall paint shop have already been put into the Tesla shell, which part of technology of paint shop have already put inside the building. Apparently, several cuboid elements, roughly twice as high as the people uh, nearby, were lifted in by crane. Signs on the foil in which they are completely packed show that they come from Geico or Geico, that Italian Japanese company. Initially, however, the cuboids were apparently only placed on the upper level of the lacquer part of the building. That means not unpacked or even installed. Now, Tesla probably shouldn't do that either uh, because uh, the previous pre-approvals from the Brandenburg State Environment Agency only extend to the shell, not the inside uh, technology. Another application was made in September for work ahead of overall approval for the Gigafactory project. On the one hand, it is about clearing another 100 hectares of trees, not, not acres, but hectares of trees on the Tesla site. A spokeswoman for the Ministry of the Environment said at the request of uh, Tesla Mark that day, but did not provide any content related information. But the application has not yet been approved. Anyway, but we'll continue to examine, says uh, Tesla Mark from Germany. In the meantime, uh, according to Tesla plans, Tesla Giga Berlin will have thousands of parking spaces, hundreds of charging stations, and eight superchargers to meet employee charging needs. 
first of all this is not very much surprising because if you're going to have uh, 8 to 12,000 people working at Tesla Giga Berlin in three shifts you need to have thousands of parking places if you have been in large automotive companies in Europe or in the United States you see the same thousands of parking stations uh, parking places but also what's interesting we see uh, also hundreds of charging stations um, that will meet the needs of uh, employees because we assume that a growing number of Tesla Giga Berlin employees will um, will buy uh, Tesla vehicles Tesla Model Ys probably Tesla will give uh, its employees some incentives I have no idea if there is such a thing but um, we know that in the past Tesla has given the first chance to buy to its employees when Model 3 was just coming out but if you guys know if you work for Tesla and you know what incentives are for Tesla employees to buy a car uh, so I think let me know please and I think uh, Tesla employees will some of them will take advantage of that now in phase one Giga Berlin will have about over 1,000 uh, 10,000 I'm sorry employees which requires significant space for cars and motorcycles and then it will grow in phase two and more uh, we'll expect also uh, 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 visitors uh, now there apparently will be 3254 parking spaces planned for Tesla Giga Berlin uh, from which 2166 are regular parking spaces and 232 motorcycle parking spaces and 132 parking spaces for people with disability and 101 for visitors reports our friend Jurgen from uh, who tweets at Tesla uh, uh, GF for Tesla now to provide information on Tesla's progress um, uh, the website news website Tesmanian periodically observes the company's factories in the United States and China in doing so they have noticed that over time the number of employees purchasing Tesla or either electric vehicles is constantly growing and Tesmania says most likely due to this trend the California manufacturer Tesla has allocated several hundred more places where employees will be able to charge their electric vehicles and of those 303,254 parking spaces 615 will be parking spaces with an electric charging station and an additional eight will be fitted with superchargers so this is why I said that um, we will see more people who work for Tesla buying electric cars and uh, um, their incentives will be more you know if, if the regular public is um, uh, thinking about buying electric cars making electric car purchase their next vehicle purchase what about people who work for Tesla or for electric car manufacturer any electric car manufacturer so this is not surprising that Tesla is adding hundreds of um, uh, uh, superchargers hundreds of superchargers at the parking lot at Giga Berlin I was wondering if anyone knows how many superchargers are for uh, employees and visitors at the Fremont factory if you guys know let us know please and uh, according to this data an impressive 20% of Tesla parking spaces according to Tesmanian are slated to be electric as such Giga Berlin parking lot which will be able to simultaneously charge 623 electric vehicles no doubt will become the world's largest charging station for electric vehicle well friends let me know what your thoughts are on these developments please like this video we appreciate that greatly and helps us tremendously in the meantime this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell for further notifications and i'll see you in our next report god bless you peace be with all of you and have a wonderful rest of the day